Hey everyone, Sarush here, and in this video, I want to show you how to dump your Nintendo 3DS titles and cartridges using your Nintendo 3DS. There's a lot of advantages to doing this. For example, if you know you're going traveling for a while and you don't want to risk carrying around your cartridges, I mean, you know they're pretty expensive these days, you can be sure that you can leave them at home where they're safe and you can still have access to your games on your Nintendo 3DS as if you've downloaded them off the Nintendo shop. The other advantage is that once you dump your game cartridges, you can actually transfer those files over to a different system that's capable of emulating 3DS games. And that way you can play your games, whatever you want. I'm also gonna show you how to dump your DS games. Again, these cartridges are starting to get very, very expensive and you probably don't wanna lose them. So this is a really good way of backing up your cartridges and having access to them in any way that you want. There are a little bit of limitations when it comes to DS dumped cartridges and I will talk about that a little bit later. So let's talk about what we need in order to dump our 3DS and DS games cartridges. Well, you're gonna need a Nintendo 3DS and you also need to make sure that this Nintendo 3DS is hacked and capable of running custom firmware. I'm not gonna get into how to doing that. There is an extensive guide online. I'll make sure to put a link to it down in the description below. So make sure if your 3DS is not hacked yet, make sure you go and follow the steps in that link and come back to this video when you know you've got the custom firmware running on it, including God Mode 9. Now that you have access to a hacked 3DS, let's go ahead and start dumping our first game. We're gonna start with this game, Luigi Mansion 2. I'm gonna put the cartridge over here just for a minute. So in order to do this, first we're gonna turn off the system. So hold down the power button and then tap on power off and wait for it to completely shut off first. So once the system is completely shut off, you wanna hold down the start button and then press the power button and just wait until you're presented with the screen. You wanna go down and pick God Mode 9 and press A. Once you have this screen here, you have access to your SD card, which is really important because what's gonna happen here is that you're actually gonna dump your Nintendo 3DS game cartridges right into the SD card. So at this point, you wanna grab the game cartridge that you wanna dump and you're gonna press it into your Nintendo 3DS. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put it down here for a minute. Next, you wanna go down to C Game Cart. You're gonna press A on that one. And once in here, you're gonna go down and pick the file that has .trim.3ds. Now, there's a little bit of an information here that I would like to tell you about the difference between .3ds and .trim.3ds. If you wanna hear the information about this and the difference, just wait to the end of the video. It's just not quite relevant to what we're talking about right now. So I just wanna show you how to dump your cartridge first. So if you're interested to learning about the difference between the two, just stick to the end of the video and you'll learn about it then. But for now, we're gonna pick the file that ends with .trim.3ds. We're going to press A on that one. We're going to pick NCSD image options and we're going to pick install game image. Now, when you get this message here where it says SysNand is locked, you wanna unlock it. So press A to unlock and then follow the instructions here to unlock the SysNand. So top, right, top, bottom, A. This might be different for you. And at this point, you just wanna wait for your Nintendo 3DS to do what it needs to do. This might take anything between 10 to 20 to 30 minutes, even up to an hour, depending on size of the cartridge. So if your Nintendo 3DS is low, low on battery, make sure you plug it in so it doesn't die in the middle of doing this. I'm gonna fast forward this video to the end of this section and I'll see you in a bit. We've now got the message that says the installation was successful. We're gonna press A to continue. Now you get a message that says write permissions were changed. Relock them. I would say yes. I mean, it's up to you. To be honest with you, I don't know why it would matter whether it's locked or not, but I'm just gonna put things back the way they were. So I'm gonna press yes here. And now the SysNand is locked again. So at this point in time, we're actually finished dumping and installing the game cartridge into our system. So what we wanna do is press the home button and then we're going to go down to say reboot system 
and press A and we'll wait for our Nintendo 3DS to reboot back into the home page. So once we're back on our home page, we can see that this says new software has been added to the home menu. I mean, if you remember back in the day when the eShop was working, this is what you used to get whenever you bought a new game off of the eShop. So this is essentially what it's tricking the 3DS to think that you've, you've bought it digitally. But anyways, we're going to tap on OK and we can see that we've got a new present. So I'm going to open it and yay, it's Luigi's Mansion 2. Now, interestingly enough, if I go back here, I can see that Luigi's Mansion 2 is still loaded into the cartridge slot right here. So what I want to do now is I just want to make sure that this works because sometimes this method may not work with some games. So let's go ahead and try and see if this works here. Yep, it seems like it's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and eject the cartridge as well. So you can see that the game is now running without the need of Luigi's Mansion 2 cartridge. So if I press start here, yep, this is all working. It's all good. And the game is working perfectly fine. Now, let's say for whatever reason, this method did not work for you. There's another way of dumping your Nintendo 3DS cartridges, and that's by dumping the cartridge to a .cia file. So in the next step, I'm going to show you how to do that. But before doing that, I'm just going to delete the one that I've got here just to show you how different it's going to be. All right, so you can see the Luigi's Mansion 2 cartridge is not inserted. It's sitting outside. And also, I've deleted the installed game off of my system. So what I'm going to do now, again, I'm going to just plug this in here. I'm just going to put it in there and it comes up. I'm going to turn off the system. And once it's completely shut off, I'm going to hold down the start button and press the power button and I'll go into God mode nine. I'm going to go down to game card again. I'll go down to the file that ends with dot trim dot 3ds. I'm going to pick NCSD image option. Now this time around, I'm actually going to pick a different option. I'm going to pick build CIA from file. And once again, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let it do what it needs to do. So I'm going to fast forward this video and I'll come back once this is done. Our CIA file has been built and put into GM9 out folder. We're going to press A to continue. Now, while we're here, we can actually navigate to that folder and there's a couple of things we can do with that file. So in order to get to the CIA file that we just created, we're going to go over to the SD card folder here. We're going to go all the way down to GM9. We're going to go to out. And as you can see, there's a couple of actually files here. I believe Luigi's Mansion 2 is going to be the first one because the file size I remember being around that. So now we're going to press A on that one and we can actually go into CIA image options. And then here we can actually decrypt or encrypt the file. I'm not going to do any of that right now. I'm actually going to go back to my home screen. So we're going to press the home button and then we're going to reboot the system and wait for it to come back. All right, the home screen's back. At this point, I can safely remove my game cartridge from my Nintendo 3DS. I'm just going to put it back this way for consistency's sake. So what I'm going to do now, actually, I'm going to go into this FBI app. I'm going to open it up. This is an app that you can use for installing CIAs into your system. So once in here, I'm going to go into the SD card. I'll go all the way down to GM9 and then out. And all my CIA files are going to be here. Obviously, at some point, I did the same thing with Monster Hunter Generation. So that's sitting there for some reason. But at the moment, I actually want to get Luigi's Mansion 2 onto my home screen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tap A on this. And I'm going to say install CIA and then press yes here. So this method obviously takes a little bit longer than just dumping your Nintendo 3DS game cartridges and installing them directly through God Mode 9. But like I said, some cartridges don't work with this method. And if that's the case, you're just going to have to do it this way. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to leave it for now. I'll come back once this is done and we'll keep talking about the next section, which is how to dump your DS games. All right, so install is finished now. We're going to press any button to get out of it. Once we get back to the home page, 
we're once again presented with this a new software has been added to the home menu so you can see we've got another present and if we open it it's gonna be luigi's mansion 2. let's see if it works and look i haven't got the cartridge in the 3ds it's still sitting here so let's just go ahead and open the file and see if it works And so yeah, looks like we're all good. So the next thing that I want to show you is actually how to dump your DS games using your 3DS. And if you remember at the start of the video, I did say that this is not going to work quite as straightforward as it does with 3DS games in a sense that you can't install a DS game cartridge directly onto your 3DS. I'll show you what I mean. Let's start by inserting the DS cartridge into the 3DS first. So we'll put that in. We're going to turn off the system again to go back into God Mode 9. So power off, wait for it to completely shut off, hold the start button and press the start button, go down to God Mode 9. So once in God Mode 9, we're again going to go down to C Game Cards. This time around, instead of using trim.nds, we're going to go into .nds. Now, the reason that we do this is because trim dumps are not recommended for Nintendo DS games in general because they sometimes can have various playback issues. So we're going to go ahead and actually grab the full NDS file. So we're going to tap on the NDS file. And this time around, we're going to go down to copy to GM9 out. And we're going to wait for it to do its thing and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so this one is finished. We're going to press A to continue. Now, before I go back to the home screen, I'm going to go and actually have a look in the SD card and GM9 and out. And as you can see, all of the dumped files, all the CIA files and all the Nintendo DS ROMs and things that I've extracted off of my cartridges are now sitting in this folder. I can now actually take out the micro SD card out of my Nintendo 3DS, put it into a different device that's capable of emulating DS and 3DS games and run these games off of it. So that's one of the advantages that we talked about at the beginning of this video on why you could do something like this. But let's go back to the home screen because I want to show you something. Now, if you remember, I did say that dumping your Nintendo DS cartridges into your 3DS does have some limitations. And what I was talking about here essentially is the fact that you can't install your dumped cartridge of Nintendo DS games directly into your 3DS and playing off of that. So if you want to play Nintendo DS games, that's fine, but you still need to have your cartridge in here installed. But if you notice, I can actually take this out, I can put it over here, and I can go all the way back to the side here where I have a folder full of my Nintendo DS ROMs. And I can run them all without needing the game cartridge. So for example, this is Castlevania, this is the same game that I just dumped, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. And without having to run a different emulator, I can actually run this ROM directly from the home menu on 3DS like this. There it is, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow on Nintendo 3DS working perfectly fine without needing the cartridge. So if you want to learn how to do this, as in dumping your Nintendo DS cartridges directly into your 3DS and then running it on your 3DS without needing your cartridge, then leave a comment down below and let me know that you want to learn how to do it and I'll make a video about that separately and post it onto my channel. For now though, the last thing I want to talk about is the difference between the trim 3DS file and the normal 3DS file. Essentially, it comes down to how much space you have available in your game cartridge and how much space does the game actually take on the cartridge. Let's talk about an example. Let's say, for example, Luigi's Mansion 2 takes 1.8 gigabyte of space on a cartridge. 
but this cartridge has 2 GB of space. What developers had to do back in the day is they had to make sure they fill up the space on the cartridge completely. So what do they do with the rest of the 200 or so megabyte left as empty space on the cartridge? They filled it up with ones and zeros for no reason whatsoever, but to fill up the cartridge so it's full. When you choose that trim.3ds file instead of the 3ds file, essentially what it does is it just saves a bit of data on your SD card, it gets rid of the fat on your cartridge, and you're left with what you need to play the games. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like this video. I'm thinking about making more videos like this. I know there's a lot of people out there who still have their 3DSs. Maybe they're just sitting in a box somewhere eating dust. I think it'd be a good time to take them out of those boxes, give them a bit of a charge and get those cartridges out and start playing those 3DS games again. This is an outstanding device that's capable of doing a lot of things, including running your 3DS games and DS games. It can also run your Game Boy Advance games. So again, if you're interested in learning about any of that stuff, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below letting me know that you'd like to learn more about those things. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one.